Hello, cheers for checking out this week's episode. This week's, um, I'm not a weekly channel, um, but yeah. So, the Tamiya Gravel Hound. So, I found this new in box. The box is a little bit beat, but that's not important to me. So, yeah, it's a bit of a why did I get one? We'll come to that later on, but it, it does look a pretty good chassis. And it does look very familiar to some of the cars that are out there, namely the TTO one. But we'll have a look at all that. So this is it, the Tamiya Gravel Lound. Uh, so this is part number 58328. And obviously this is on the DFO2 chassis. And this was released on the 23rd of June 2004. And it ran up until, I've written it down, uh 2014 so a 10-year run on this which as we know with tamiya we, we like the fact that they run their cars for a long time because you can always get spares you can always buy one um i've not seen many of these new in box but i did want one so when i saw this one i got this one i was happy with the price that i got it for um but yeah so it did share the chassis with um the rising storm the plasma edge and recently the aero avanti uh, i don't know exactly when the dates were for that everything that i've got of has has come from tamiya base um but obviously it's got the nice wheels it's got some good tires on it uh oil filled suspension so yeah looking forward to getting this thing built and we are going to be running it oh yes um so box ain't the best but who cares so what i'll do i'll bring you over we'll have a look inside the box and then uh let's build it right before we pull her out of the box let's just have a quick look at the box so the body i quite like it to be honest i mean you've still got a nice rear cab looks nice and flowing scooping up a little bit top force ish maybe just we wear that scoops up but i mean quite a lot of the tamiyas do that but we've got the nice star dish wheels on there we've got oil filled dampers uh includes electronic speed controller so it'll be interesting to see which one it is because this is an old one i think it's going to be one of the older units but ooh, got a little action shot just on the side there so obviously when you look at that it's very tto one e reminiscent and I do think that it is actually based, or the TTO1E, or this is based on the same. But yeah, you've got your hop-ups on there, sport tune motor, ball bearings, which I do have. Um, yeah, TTO1. TTO1 prop shaft, so stuff like that I may consider changing. But at the moment, we're just going to get this built. So up on the side there. That's what it'll look like. So let's get this bad boy unboxed. So no fancy layout, which by the by. So yeah, so that's the speed controller there. TEU 101B K. So I don't really know much about these old style Tamiya speed controllers, but it's not going in anywhere, so that's not an issue. Got your bag there. So it does come with some bearings. There's a couple in there. We'll have a better look. Body shell, so your body shell and wings all in one. So yeah, does look nice. Obviously, I've not decided whether I'm going to go box out with this yet or not. So your holes are cut out. nice and thick plastic parts chassis wheels got the nice star dish i do like these i think these are a really nice looking wheel and then your tires nice spiky tires without further ado Oh yeah, even after all these years, they are 
Oof, they're, a, they're a pretty hard compound. Rears, rears feel softer. Fronts are definitely harder. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or whether it's just an age thing. But yeah, there's definitely softer rears. Get rid of them. So then we've got all the bumps, the stickers. I do like all this neonish pink, yellow. Yeah, we may go box out with this one. And then your uh, destructions. So there'll be nothing untoward with this to tell me uh, it'll go together as easy as anything. And then a bit underneath. You got shock parts, more shock parts, shock parts, front and rear bumper, body mount posts, shock towers, that's probably your top deck in there, gearbox covers, aerial tube, front and rear arms, the front and rear arms look nice. Um, this doesn't have adjustable turnbuckles, so this has got you fixed, but we will be swapping them out and oh yeah anyone that's built a TTO1 TTO2 these will look very familiar and then a bind plug no idea why that's in there so let's just get this all out of the way for now and we'll have a look bag of goodies so you got your servo mounts so yeah so one two three four five six seven so there's eight bearings one two three four five six seven eight non bearings um i wasn't really thinking this would come without bearings so what i do have got a full bearing kit so this is from RC Bearings. Uh, I get all my bearing kits from there. You can either buy individual, you can buy kits. There's all, if you go on the website, they'll have a kit. Select the kit that you want, and then it'll come. So it comes with all the bearings in there. I'm guessing even on top of these ones, but we can have them as spares. Um, I know a lot of people that build the Tamiya's, they will just order the main Tammy ones in bulk. I don't build that many, so I don't buy bulk unfortunately oh, a little quality little bit there parts bag d two screws and two clips screws wheel nuts clips that's got your springs shock parts in there the shock oil the shock oil it's the soft Damper oil soft. Obviously, you've got your standard silver can. Gear parts. That'll be the spare gear, I think, 72. And then more screws. And then the diffs are all in there, I think. Other diff parts, it looks like. So, yeah, that's it. So, what I'm going to do, start banging this together. And then... Uh, yeah, we're going to take this racing. Right, we're just going to jump in the build. So, metal gears. So, yeah. Your little planetary gears. Uh, and then these are your outdrive gears. So, those ones there. All metal. This, obviously, your spare is still plastic but it doesn't drive on anything other than the pinion. So yeah, nice to see these. I don't know if it was just this chassis or if any of the others got them, but yeah, got one built up. And uh, yeah, I was quite quite surprised to see the metal on there. So just uh, jumping in just to let you know that. So I'll crack on with the build. Right, so 
car is all built. Get that body off. We've got the electrics in. So like I say, we've got 10 and a half brushes in there. XR10 Pro, Savox Servo. And I've just had to do a little bit of uh, butchering. So just the little tray, I've had to like notch all these out on both sides. And that's basically just so that the lipos going to fit. But she does fit now. So yeah, so built as kit, the shocks, they're way too soft, especially the back. I mean, I've not, not done any preload, but yeah, they're way too soft. I don't know what the equivalent oil of this is, but that is pretty runny. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip the shocks off, put, I'll probably put like 350 and I'll start at 350, different wheels and tyres. Tires definitely. Um, and then we'll have this running. Obviously, there won't be any running footage on this. I'm still laid up. So, but that's it all done. Box art. We didn't go box art. I went for a slightly different colour. Um, PS59. I had some of that. It was the only sort of like blue colour. But it looks all right. It's got a nice metallic -y look to it. Uh, the only downside is because it's a little bit darker, a lot of the blacks get sort of lost in there. But that is it all done. So we just need to give this a run out at some point. But yeah, she's all done. So looking forward to running it. It's a nice little build. And obviously, because this is from 2004, you can run it in the vintage. So as soon as I'm back at the club running, I'll make sure this gets at least one run out. It may even get more than one. I may do a full full day running with it. If it lasts, I'm sure it will. But yeah, there you go. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Just need to get a run in now. So that's it. Cheers for watching. And as always, take care. And I'll see you at the next one. Cheers, guys.